Welcome to the second portion of your training. This time we'll talk about combat. Remember that although you are a master of magic, you aren't the toughest in a fight. If you wade into the middle of combat, you're likely to end up on the wrong side of a troll's fist. To keep watch over a battle and support your troops with magic, it is always best to stand back from the main conflict. A good commander knows when the time is right to join the fray and will only do so when his presence will win the day. Why don't you follow me? Persephone has provided some of her creatures for your training. Here we have the creatures Persephone sent us. I am yours to command by order of the goddess. Yes, well, he seems very eager. Why don't you left-click on him to select him? Very good. Now, take a look at the druid. You see the triangle and two bars floating above his head? That triangle represents your unit color, and the two bars represent his health and mana. Notice that two icons have appeared in the area on the left side of your screen. The icon in the larger area represents this druid that you have selected. The icon just to the right is for any special abilities that your selected creatures have. In this case, the druid is able to create a magical shield around himself. Go ahead and left-click on the life shield icon to command the druid to use his ability. Now he is much more resistant to harm. Notice that when he activated his ability, it used some of his mana. We will learn about regaining mana in a later lesson. Now, for our next lesson, we need another volunteer. The ranger there will do nicely. To select multiple creatures, hold down the left mouse button and... Good. Now, wait here. Now that you have both of them selected, send them over to me. Just right-click on the ground Ooh, near me. On the trail. Very good! When you right-click to issue an order, the creature will do a default action. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean he'll try to do the sensible thing based on what you clicked on. Notice that when you right-clicked on the ground, you told them to move? Now make sure they are still selected and right-click on me. Guard! Great! Moving now up. they will guard me. Notice that they take a position next to me. If I were an enemy, on they would the have attacked when you right-clicked on me. <laughs> Glad I'm on your side. Why don't you come over here and we'll continue the lesson. There is one more way to issue commands. Sometimes you may want creatures to perform a command other than the default right-click command. For example, you may want to attack an area by issuing an attack order on a piece of ground. Or you may wish to attack a friendly unit by issuing an attack order. We will need another volunteer for this. Ah, Shrike! Why don't you come over here? I don't know if I agree. Hmm. Well, he can stay there then. Select the ranger by left-clicking on him. If, now that you have the ranger selected, press and hold down the right mouse button. This will bring up four icons arranged in a cross shape. Don't let go yet. Move the cursor to the right. Notice that more icons appear as you move the cursor. Stop when you reach the icon marked Attack, and then release the mouse button. Now your cursor should take the form of the Attack icon. To execute this order, left-click on the intended target. Try it out on the Shrike over there. Attack. What hell? He's the Ranger shafted. will now attack the Shrike. When you want him to stop attacking, simply give him another order by right-clicking or once again using the cross menu. Move on my way. Meet me down the road for our next lesson. Make sure to order any of your troops who are not guarding me to come with you. Move! Do you forget me? Direct me Move. with a song in my heart. Guard me! With a song in my heart.
You see that rock over there? The one in the middle of that sandy area? Let me illuminate the one I'm talking about. Let's suppose you wanted to order your minions to run around that rock in a circle. You would give them that order by issuing a series of orders as waypoints. When a series of orders are issued as waypoints, they will execute in the order that they are given, one after the other. To issue orders as waypoints, simply hold down the shift key and then click to issue the order. Both right-click orders and orders issued via the cross menu can be given as waypoints. Try giving your creatures some waypointed orders. When you are comfortable doing this, meet me further up the road. Move! Aha! Uh -huh. Move! With the saw! Move! I! Move! Aha! Uh -huh. Move! With the Move! Aha! Uh -huh. Move! Uh -huh. Move! Move! Aha! Uh -huh. Move! Aha! Uh -huh. Move! Aha! Uh -huh. Move! Sally! Move! Move! Sallying forth! Move, move, sallying, move, move, aha, move, move, I move, move, aha. Move with the song in my heart. Move with the song. Move, 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 I. Self-selling forth! Guard me! Uh, Guard me! Aha! Uh -huh. Feeling good about issuing waypoints, eh? Well, we needed some more troops for this next bit. Persephone said she'd send some, but looks like Miss High and Mighty can't be bothered. Did we hear someone calling our name? Persephone, uh, um, <laughs> so um, generous of you to grace us with your divine presence. We were just discussing your many fine qualities. Very good. We have brought you a contingent of our faithful, for we see that you have been prudent thus far, and have preserved the well-being of the other creatures in your charge. Do not allow your vigilance to falter. Oh, good, she's gone. Now, let's start our next lesson. These troops aren't going to be much good bunched up like that. Here, let me show you a trick for separating out groups of tightly packed units. Now that you have control of them, double click on any one of the creatures with the left mouse button. My lord, I stand ready. Notice that it selected the unit you clicked on and all similar units in the immediate area. Go ahead and give them a move order by right clicking on the ground to the left of the group. Move! As you wish. Now, double click on the remaining creatures and tell them to move to the right. Ready. Strength and honor. Move! On my way. The two groups you ordered are now more organized. It is critical to maintain organization in the heat of battle. To help you organize your troops, you can assign group numbers to them. Go ahead. Now that you have your rangers selected, hold down the control key and hit the one key your on your keyboard. One. You should hear yourself declaring that the rangers are now Group 1. Now, double-click on one of the druids to select all of them. Once this is done, yes. hold You're down Control two. and hit the 2 key. This will set the druids as Group 2. Hit the 1 key. Group one. This should Strength select all of the rangers. You will hear yourself calling out the name of a group whenever you select them. Go ahead and play around with the group settings. Group when you two. feel ready to move on, group take the rightmost fork in the road and I will meet you further along. And do remember to bring your troops, will you? Group one, group yes, two, Lord, guard as me. You wish. Group one. Strength and honor. Wedge formation. Guard Already me. Group I stand two. Ready. Semicircle formation. Guard By me. By the goddess. Group 
Now it is time to learn about formations. You may have noticed that your troops will form into a straight line when they reach a destination. This is because they are told to use the line formation by default. Select your group of rangers and have them guard me. Group 2, Group 1, guard! You see how they form up on either side of me in a line? If an enemy were in front of us, I would be safely out of their line of fire. As I move, they will move with me and try to maintain their position relative to me and to one another. To change the formation that your selected creatures will use, you must access the cross menu. Hold down the right mouse button. When the cross menu appears, move your mouse cursor to the left until it highlights the line formation icon. Now move the cursor up until it highlights the skirmish formation. Skirmish Release formation. the button. You should hear yourself shout out the new formation you want your creatures to form into. Now right click on me and they will take the new formation. When you give a formation order, your troops will not use that formation until they are given their next order. They will then use that formation until they are given an order to use a different formation. Notice that the skirmish formation that you selected orders the troops to shield me by standing in front of me. I can't shoot through them, but an enemy trying to get to me has to fight through my screen of rangers first. You will find many different uses for the various formations. Hold down the right mouse button to access the cross menu again and move the cursor upwards this time. Select the circle formation, circle formation. and right click on Guard follow me, me on and we will way. continue your lessons. Semicircle formation. Guard me. Group one. My Group Lord. two. Wedge formation. Guard As me. As you wish. There are several creatures approaching. My lord. Oh, well, fire! <laughs> fire! <laughs> fire! <laughs> fire! <laughs> oh, he, he's got friends. Pyro is attacking the village. We need aid. We must get to that village. Persephone will reward us well if we help her creatures. You're not helping anyone. They've destroyed the bridge. We must find another way around to the village. Permission to speak, my lord? Yes, yes, speak up! My lord, I will come with you. I must save my home. Very well, you may come. We need all the men we can get. Select all of your rangers. Ranger here. Strength and honor. Ranger here. Now that you have them selected, hold down shift and click on the new ranger there. Ranger. Now, onward to the village. I will follow you. Guard me. On the trail. Enemy sighted. Your creatures are under attack. Group one. Strength and honor. 
Wedge formation. Guard On me. my way. Group two. My lord. Bovis. Pejorative. Rook. Direct me. Semicircle formation. Guard With me. With a song in my heart. Before you proceed, many dangers lie ahead. We shall provide additional creatures that you may deter the heretical menace of Pyro. These shrikes will help with any melee creatures we encounter. But watch out for missile fire. They are vulnerable to it. One more thing before we charge into battle. You can use the minimap to issue orders and select troops. Go ahead and experiment with this. We are in a hurry, but if you are not prepared to enter battle, we will surely lose. Your group three. Group one. Ready. Group two. My lord. Group one. Ranger here. Mm, I've got a bad feeling about this. Looks like a good place for an ambush. Why don't you go ahead? I'll catch up to you. Enemy sighted. Rock, Flam, Gaza, Voss. Your creatures are under attack. Group one, Strength. group two. I stand ready. Group three. I. Enemy sighted. Your target is out of range. Rock carving. That spell is not ready. Thorn Gaza Modern. One, group two, group three, group Ready. one. Village. Hurry before it's too late. Nothrak, Ovis, Nothrak. Enemy 
sighted. Your creatures are under attack. Group one. Rip. Group two. Yes, my lord. Your creatures are dying. Invalid target. Move. As you wish. Group one. Strength and honor. Invalid target. Your creatures are under attack. Your creatures are dying. Group three. <laughs> la 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 la. You will pay for crossing, Pyro! The tide of progress will not be stopped! Worry not, my friend. We will protect you from the wrath of Pyro. You have served us well. Welcome to our service. Ooh.